It is the old fighter plane or the evil Fox A fourth generation plane, the pride of Russian industry, turned the equation in Ukraine and terrified NATO for years. One of the fastest aircraft in the world, capable of performing and carrying out complex missions, strong in durability and accurate in targeting. When the battle in Ukraine reached, it swept the news and newspapers. It succeeded in carrying out many complex missions inside Ukraine. It was developed in the 70s to compete with the United States of America and protect the skies of the Soviet Union. It is one of the advanced fighters that entered service in 2018. Although it is an old fighter, it worries NATO. It is characterized by its large size and strong structure. Russia did not allow an American plane to approach its borders in the Barents Sea, and sent a super fighter to intercept it and prevent it from violating Russian airspace. The Russian plane is the MiG-31, belonging to the Northern Fleet Air Defense Forces, according to the Russian Ministry of Defense, yesterday, Monday. Twin-Engine Aircraft The MiG- 31 is classified as one of the most dangerous interceptor fighters in the world, and can fly at super-fast speeds exceeding twice the speed of sound in the upper atmosphere, to destroy any enemy target from safe distances with its unparalleled air-to-air -air missiles. The MiG-31 made its first test flights in the 1970s, and remains a unique fighter that can carry a diverse arsenal of short, medium and long-range air-to-air missiles, enabling it to destroy any air target regardless of its speed or defensive means, according to the Russian website Test Pilot. These fighters are 21.62 meters long, and can fly at high altitudes of up to 20,600 meters at a speed of 3,000 kilometers per hour, powered by a pair of D. 30 FB jet engines. These aircraft use several types of combat missiles, including long-range R-33 air-to-air missiles, short-range R-73 air-to-air missiles, in addition to Russian Kinzhal missiles. The MiG-31 combines the ability to operate and track various air targets at high altitudes and near the ground, and can intercept supersonic aircraft. Due to the unique capabilities of the electronic radar system inside the aircraft, Russian pilots have nicknamed the aircraft, Flying Radar Station. The basis of this system is the weapon control system, Zaslan, Barrier, equipped with the world's first phase-controlled antenna network. This antenna differs from the classical radar in that it allows the beam to be transmitted with the presence of a fixed antenna, and to form the necessary amount of rays to track several targets at the same time. The Zaslan system can detect 24 targets at a distance of 200 kilometers. The onboard computer selects the four most dangerous targets and directs air-to-air -air missiles at them for long distances. For the other four targets, the maximum number of targets for a simultaneous attack is eight missiles, medium, and short-range missiles are used, or their coordinates are transferred to the chasers and to anti-aircraft missile systems stationed on the ground. Experts confirm that there is currently no aircraft in the world that can be compared to the MiG-31, and there will not be in the next 10 to 15 years any aircraft comparable to the MiG-31. All modern fighter aircraft, except for fifth-generation aircraft, are not considered to be fully supersonic, since they have a specific time to fly faster than sound, 5 to 15 minutes, due to various restrictions in the design of the structure. The MiG-31 supersonic flight distance is limited only by the fuel reserve. In addition, the MiG-31 is capable of breaking the sound barrier in horizontal flight and in the altitude selection system, while most supersonic aircraft exceed the speed of 1M in the case of a gradual dive. On Tuesday, the Russian Ministry of Defense showed a video clip showing MiG-31 fighters intercepting cruise missiles over the Chukchi Sea, during their participation in the Russian Pacific Fleet maneuvers, Finval 2023. The training mission involved two MiG-31 
31 fighters that took off from Anadir Airport to track long-range precision missiles launched from Russian warships participating in the exercises. The MiG-31 can fly at speeds exceeding 3,000 km per hour at altitudes of up to 18,000 meters, while it can fly close to the ground at a speed of 1,500 km per hour, which is a record speed at low altitudes. The MiG-31 can change its altitude at a rate of 208 meters per second, about 750 km per hour, is powered by two jet engines, and weighs about 47 tons with its full load of fuel and weapons. The MiG-31 is part of the Russian Air Defense Forces and represents a source of terror for all types of Western strategic bombers. It can also be relied upon to carry out missions against satellites when needed, thanks to its ability to fly at high altitudes that exceed the capabilities of any other fighter jet. Statistics from the Global Firepower website for 2023 indicate that the Russian army possesses about 4,200 warplanes, including about 770 fighters, making the Russian Air Force the second largest air force in the world. The Russian Ministry of Defense announced the takeoff of a Russian MiG-31 fighter to prevent two American B-1B strategic bombers from violating Russian airspace over the Barents Sea. The Russian Defense Ministry statement read, On March 24, Russian airspace monitoring media over the Barents Sea detected a group air target approaching the borders of the Russian Federation. In order to determine the nature of the air target and prevent it from violating the borders of the Russian state, a MiG-31 fighter of the Russian Air Force took off. The statement pointed out that the crew of the Russian fighter jet was able to identify the nature of the air target as a pair of B-1B strategic bombers belonging to the U.S. Air Force. The statement added that as the MiG-31 approached, the two American aircraft changed their course, turned around and moved away from the Russian border. The defense statement concluded, the Russian aircraft returned safely to its airport, and no violation of the Russian state border was allowed. The Russian defense confirmed in the same statement that the fighter jet's flight was carried out in full compliance with international rules for the use of airspace over neutral waters and with safety measures in mind. In the same context, an American newspaper specializing in weapons stated on October 19 that the MiG-31 aircraft patrolling the Black Sea under a decree issued by Russian President Vladimir Putin are armed with Kinzhal missiles that cannot be intercepted. The newspaper said, the Russian Kinzhal is valued not only for its very high speed, close to Mach 9, but also for its high maneuverability and its quasi-ballistic trajectory at low altitudes, which makes it extremely difficult to track, intercept and sometimes detect it in flight. The MiG-31 dates back to the 1960s, but it has maintained continuous development to outperform newer generations and frighten the West. According to the Russia Today website, the Russian MiG-31 interceptor aircraft has unprecedented performance characteristics that no other Western aircraft has been able to outperform for many years and until now. Military analyst Igor Korachenko, editor-in-chief of the American magazine National Defense, points out that the American magazine National Interest published an article a few days ago stating that this aircraft not only maintained its high initial characteristics, but also underwent a major modernization that increased its flight range and combat effectiveness. Korachenko says, the main advantage of the aircraft lies in its high tactical and technical characteristics that no Western aircraft of this class has in terms of speed of ascent and the ability to intercept and destroy a large group of air targets, according to the Russia Today website. Cruise Missiles In addition, the MiG-31 is used as a carrier of new generation cruise missiles, such as the Kinzhal hypersonic missile, which is currently used in the special military operation. The MiG-31 is a two-seat, high-altitude, all-weather, long-range, supersonic fighter interceptor. The aircraft is designed to intercept and destroy air targets at low, medium and high altitudes. 
In mid-July, the first batch of upgraded MiG-31 fighters was delivered. On July 21st, MiG-31 and MiG-29 aircraft took off to intercept American B-52H bombers and prevent them from penetrating Russian airspace over the Barents Sea. Fighter Characteristics The MiG-31 is a Cold War aircraft, but it is not an obsolete aircraft, it is very fast, can reach high altitudes and launch the long-range air-to-air missile Wimple R-37M. Russia has recently updated its old MiG-31 aircraft to become more modern and have the ability to carry the Kinzhal hypersonic weapon, according to the German magazine Stern. The MiG-31 is very different from other aircraft that were designed as multi-role fighters for different missions, such as the F-16. The MiG-31 was designed primarily as a heavy interceptor aircraft, and its development began in the late 1960s as a successor to the MiG-25, and the first aircraft was operated in the early 1980s.